guys, so welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. So today I decided I was gonna take you guys along with me for what my day looks like, my typical day, being home alone during the week. So uh, I have lots to get done today because I have company coming for the weekend, my sister and brother-in-law and niece, and my son and daughter-in-law and the kids are coming tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna have a big dinner, so I have to cook. But I gotta go to the grocery store and get some stuff for that. And then I have to go to um, a pie shop here that's local that's <laughs> so good to get dessert. Um, I already have been to Home Goods because I don't have guest quarters set up. So <laughs> they're bringing an air mattress. And um, I was talking to Ernie last night and he's like, well, you need to get window coverings so they can have privacy and the towels and yeah, the list went on. So I made my list last night and I went to um, to Home Goods and I got um, everything that I need for the bathroom for them. Like I said, they're bringing an air mattress and their blankets and pillows and stuff because I don't even have that. <laughs> so. We're gonna set that up together. It is already 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I ran out and got all the stuff at Home Goods right away, um, and then I had to run to Home Depot and get some privacy, those the paper shades. My niece is gonna stay on the sofa. I'll show you that. We put our furniture upstairs in the loft. I'll take you guys up there and show you, but I wanted to show you what I got for, um, for the bathroom and we'll put the bathroom together at some point today. Oh, I decorated the front porch for Valentine's. So I'll show you guys that. And yeah, so let me show you guys what I got from Home Goods for upstairs. The first thing I found was the shower curtain and I love it. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So instead of getting a plastic liner, which you guys know gets nasty and mildewy and all of that, um, get yourself a fabric liner because these are washable. So I picked up just a plain white. It has a little bit of detail in it. There we go. A little bit of detail there. These are so much better than the plastic liners. Then I got the um, bath mat. This is pretty I love the color and then I picked up these towels here pretty. I got four of these hand towels there's two of them in here then I picked up some pretty little gadgets to go so I'll put some uh, makeup removers and q-tips in here for them and this was $12.99. I loved that it was just simple glass with this gold accent at the bottom. These are the matching, aren't they pretty? So gorgeous. I got the matching little soap dispensers and they were $14.99 but I loved the detail on these, so pretty. I saw this and went ahead and picked it up. It was on my grocery list for when I go to the grocery store. And it smells so good. $6.99 and I figure that's cheaper than even buying body wash at the grocery store or Target. <laughs> and it's a large container. To go inside of the glass jars, I picked up this blue hand soap. I love it. So I'm just gonna pour this into those containers. A simple black to match um, the bathroom shower bar and this was $14.99. The shower hooks are these here and oh they're so pretty. Look at the detail on those. Just gorgeous. $5.99. And then to go on the counter I got to this because I thought I would add like a plant and that little jar with the q-tips and everything on it. And then I got this beautiful rug, which is very similar to the one that I have in my master bath, $24.99. 
So I'm gonna get, I gotta get this, um, these towels and everything in the wash, start carrying stuff up. I hate stairs. <laughs> so here is our dining room table that you guys have not seen yet. I love my chairs so much. I haven't got the cushions yet. I have some in mind. These are the French ladder backs. They are just so pretty. I love them so much. So I got six of these chairs. Ernie decided to put the leaf in the table. So we have the leaf in here, um, which is fine. I told him if we're gonna leave the leaf in, <laughs> we may need to get two head chairs and move the, you know, these chairs over here. And he said, it's fine for now. So I love my table. This table is so beautiful. I love the distress detail on it, and I love the legs. How many times have I said love? Love, love, love. I picked up these beautiful candle holders at Hobby Lobby, and I just have some of those battery-operated little lights that I can turn on. And then the arrangement that I had made and put over there, I decided to put over here because it just looks so good in the space. I love it. Now, let me show you over here. This is, um, these are not staying here, but I bought this beautiful bar tray because I want to um, get Ernie some nice whiskeys and that so that, you know, it can be here. But here's the deal. And I put my lamps over here because remember I got the blue ones. And I'm making lamp or pleating lamp shades. I got this one done and it's gorgeous. Beautiful. I still have to do that one. But because I have George <laughs> up there, it's looking very Southwestern, very heavy, very heavy. And I thought, oh, well, I lightened it up with the tray, right? Bringing some of the color scheme from the house over here. It doesn't look horrible, but I think I'm going to be ending up putting these lamps upstairs in the den and buying some new lamps for here more buffet style lamps so that is what's going on here and it looks really good together i mean it just it's just a beautiful vibe this house has a beautiful vibe to it Ugh, it just makes me so happy so then in this little nook we are going to be decorating this little nook together this is not the end all be all. I have a vision for this nook. Ernie hung the mirror up, but it's too low, but that's fine because I'm gonna be doing some stuff in here. Um, I've been collecting my blue and white pottery. I have this piece. I just recently got this one and this sweet little vessel here, which I'll be putting a faux plant in. And then I made this lampshade as well pleated it. I'm really into pleated lampshades right now. It's not complete. I still haven't done the bottom yet, but love it. Um, it's my first one, so I made lots of mistakes, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. <laughs> it looks terrible, so I have to like take this off and redo it. It's a whole thing, but um, the beauty of this, <laughs> having this lamp here, and I have no plug. I have no electricity over here at all, so I have these magic bulbs. Let's see. I've been charging this one. Ooh, just turned on. The beauty of having these rechargeable um, batteries or batteries, light bulbs, is that you can have light anywhere. So now in the evening, I have a little bit of light over here. But again, this is not staying like this. Just extra decor that I just kind of shoved over here. But anyways, you guys get the gist. This will all be turning into its own moment. This whole little area is gonna have its own moment. I hadn't showed you guys the paint color, which it doesn't show up on camera very well. <laughs> you can see that there's a different sheen, obviously. But this is the color that I'm painting the hole downstairs. Oh, and then I got this pretty philodendron. 
and it's doing so good. It's already got two new leaves since I got it. It just loves it in here. Isn't she pretty? My first plant, real one in the new house. I love her. I had a guy come out and um, give me a or measure. So I'm expecting a quote from him within the next couple days. So fingers crossed it's a good price so I can hurry up and get that done because that's holding up my wallpaper, <laughs> the painting. And um, I wanna do the entryway, like I wanna wallpaper the entryway, I have some ideas um, and I need a new entryway, like whole vibe in there. I want the entryway to be its own moment. I have, to, I have a bunch of wallpaper samples in my cart um, I'll put them up here on the screen and uh, I need to order those samples so I can have them in hand because I'm also wallpapering the entire uh, powder room downstairs and I'm also going to be wallpapering the entire guest room. So <laughs> I have lots of projects but I want to get this stuff taken upstairs. I need to get these towels put in the wash first and then get this stuff taken upstairs so I can show you what bathroom we're working with. I'll show you guys the loft, what we did up there, what our plans are for up there, and what our plans are for my future craft room. This is the guest bathroom. I just finished bringing all this stuff in. So pretty. This window obviously needs some privacy. So we're gonna take care of that. Um, and then get the shower all dressed up. Here's the guest room. So I need to get a window shade put up there and one put up here for privacy. I'm super excited to get this room done. It's a big room. Now, let me show you the loft. I'm breathing heavy because, whew. So, we went ahead and laid the rug out and it's, it's too far. It needs to go that way more and this way more. And this is the way I decided to place the furniture. And Ernie hung the TV up. So I still need to get, um, Something for under here, and of course, when I paint up here, we'll hide the cord properly. And, um, anyways, he bought the kit to do like the plug up here behind the TV, but there's a still plate that runs across the whole house <laughs> in the center, so he couldn't like do it. Anyways, so I love it. My gray chairs look good in here. We did have a you know we thought about maybe putting the tv on this side and then the sofa over there and then two chairs over here but this to me because there's this wall here and here feels like a room so now we are going to get a cabinet built in here with like a wine fridge and um all that kind of stuff so that we can have this as like a kind of like ernie's man cave up here so that is what plans are for that wall Whew. anyways so the paint that i told you guys it's going to come all the way up the stairwell and it's going to stop right there and then i'm painting the rest of it here is my <laughs> my crazy storage room so this is going to be my craft room and i said to ernie why don't we just buy shelves and have this be my craft room slash decor room 
Um, it just makes sense to me. I'm going to show you guys the attic. I hate going in there. Ugh, it scares me. Um, whew, so this is what Ernie did for me. So all of our um, luggage is up here. And then he put all of the tubs and Christmas decor and everything, Christmas trees, the tall Christmas decor there, and then more tubs here. My goal is to eventually get everything into clear tubs. I'll work on that. And then I told him, you know, it. I'm just going to hang nails on this wood and put my... Um, he was going to build me a sh thing, and I said, no, <laughs> I don't like coming in here. <laughs> so I said, we'll just put like nails on here to hang like my wreaths, you know, which would be perfect. But um, yeah, so it works out. We don't have to have any of this stuff in the garage. I love it. <clears throat> but, okay, shut the store. So... I have so much and it just it looks horrible because it's not organized, you know? So I said to him, let's just do like walls of shelves. Everything would fit. Like if we did shelves here and across here, everything like floor to ceiling, everything would fit. So, um, you know, and then I could do like my crafting area like over here. It's kind of hard to see, but... Um, Anyways, I'll be, I pull, like I'll be pulling from here today when I do the guest bath. So that is that situation. Literally beads of sweat are going, well, hold on. I want this to hit.
places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you Well, I think it turned out just beautiful. So... I love how the blue soap ties all the blue into the whole room. And then this sweet little vignette with some hand soaps and cotton swabs and cotton pads. And I already had this. The towels are in the dryer. I just put them in the dryer. So I love this rug. So cozy. And then, oh, look at this. If this is not a moment, I don't know what is. That so matches perfectly. It looks so good. I'm literally sweating. So I'm going to take a break. We will come back. By the time we come back, I've got to take chicken out. Let's go to A couple it. hours from Japan. Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am. When you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you okay. I'm literally sweating But it's cold outside So I don't want to take my sweatshirt off Because i got to run to the store So I think I'm going to do that I think I'm going to run to the store And get everything I need So I can come back Make myself something to eat A salad sounds so good um, Let me show Oh I wanted to show you guys um, I need to bring the trash can in Before I go to the store And um, I wanted to show you guys The um, Valentine's Day front porch So this is my front porch I put pillows up And then the two flags They were too big To go on either side of the door So I just put them on either side of the window They're so cute and then my little heart flag. I got these off of Amazon. So this one just says February 14th. It has like a cute little heart hanging. And then this one has all the, you know, cute little sayings, but I got these from Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. In their Valentine's Day section. So I didn't have, and they were cheaper than the ones they sell on Amazon. Go figure. See how my glasses turn dark like sunglasses when I'm out there? <laughs> I'm gonna run to the store and get everything I need and I'll do a haul when I get back. I am back from the grocery store <laughs> and I bought more than I intended to buy, which makes me mad because I went with the list. But the grandbabies and company are coming over and I always go overboard for that. So. Let me show you what I got. Start over here. I got some um, shampoo and conditioner for the guest bath. I got myself my favorite dry shampoo. I love this stuff. Got a big bottle this time. Grandkids are coming and that means snacks. So I got this 30 um, treat mix. It comes with all these here. Of course, some goldfish and some little treats to put in a bowl because every grandma should have treats in a bowl when her grandbabies visit. And some Bluebell, um, the Great Divide chocolate and vanilla ice cream for dessert. I'm also getting a pie, but I'm gonna get that tomorrow. <laughs> Two cans of beans because we are having tacos, rice and beans is what I'm making. I have not seen Bitchin' Sauce since Costco in California, so I was super excited to find it at Kroger's. Love this one. Have never tried the buffalo, so I'm excited to try that. This stuff is so good. Kerrygold Butter, which is my favorite. I got a package of four tomatoes, jalapenos, and cilantro, because I'm going to make salsa. And rice. I got two things of chips corn chips, corn tortillas for the tacos, some French vanilla creamer because that's what my sister, her husband, and the kids drink, my son and his wife, in their coffee. So um, got that. Big thing of um, shredded cheese, 
six, a little six pack. I buy the minis all the time of sodas. So I got the mini Cokes. I got a 12 pack of the Coke Zero because everybody likes Coke Zero. My daughter-in-law doesn't, so she likes regular Coke. The kids love Sprite. I got, this was the cab that my daughter-in-law said to get, and then I got this Sauvignon block and I Josh. So Joel got Josh, Josh. So three bottles of wine. And then for myself for dinner, I got a pizza. So I'm gonna get that in the oven. I'm super excited about that. And I bought flowers. I am craving arranging. And I can't find fresh flowers, like unique fresh flowers anywhere. So I found these. So I never intended to have this vignette here, but when I did the Christmas, or the Christmas, ugh, the decor video, I wanted something here. Um, and I didn't real, I did, they did not have flowers like this when I went to um, the grocery store. So I was, maybe they just got a shipment in. So this was nice to find, but my intention is to always have fresh flowers here. So I'm gonna be making a flower arrangement in just a little bit. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, the towels are dry, yay. Remember the debacle with my cabinet? When we did this here, do you remember it was broken? So I let um, Wayfair know, and they said, well, we're gonna send you another one. And, and look, they sent me another one. <laughs> And it's broken on both corners. So, there's the so the second one is a replacement is coming tomorrow, and fingers crossed that one comes undamaged because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah. So if it comes undamaged, yay! Um, that's fabulous because then I'll have two extra that I can make over for somewhere upstairs. So most likely in the guest room, I'm guessing. I need to get all these groceries put away and then we're gonna continue. Um, and I need to eat something, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go sit and enjoy this for a minute and watch some YouTube. It is now 3.38 and when I'm done resting and eating because I'm getting hangry, <laughs> um, I'll pick the camera back up and we'll finish our day. I'm finished. It was so good. <laughs> so needed. Oh boy. All right, I need to get my chicken boiling because I'm going to boil it and shred it tonight and put it in the fridge. That way it's done for me tomorrow. I don't have to worry about it.
<laughs> so don't laugh. But I just love it. It looks so good. It looks good. I love the colors. And that is just so beautiful. So, yeah, I think these maybe are too tall, but you know what? It's okay. They make me happy and they'll make me smile in the morning. So, there you go. looking fresh and privacy. So we are all set for guests. And turn some lights on. Shredding. You just have to like beat it. See if you guys can see. But I just like do that until it starts shredding. So it doesn't like throw it out of the bowl. To spread it out so that it cools.
that is it, you guys, for my day. That's what a day typically looks like for me, these days anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy my pizza and my wine and catch up on some YouTube. I wanna thank you guys so much for staying till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. It helps my channel out immensely and I appreciate you so much. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.